running. Where the hell are we today? Now, I, all I know is, I thought it was something to do with Devil Wish because it's called Devila Woods. Or is, Dev it, or is it Devila or Devila? Dev I would say it's Devila. Devil Devil Devila Woods. Devila. 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 Right, so we're Devila. We're on forest. The Devila forest. forest. So, so <laughs> okay. we're on the lookout for devils. So hopefully there won't be any. Um, yeah, so this is over the, re still in the region of Fife, but more west, the more western point, I would say, mm -hmm. of Fife. Um, still near the Firth of Forth. Yeah, so you can, depending on what way you're coming, but if you're coming sort of east to north, uh, yeah. sorry, south to north, yeah. you'd either go over the Forth Road Bridge, but we actually came over the Kincardine Bridge. Yeah. Um, and I think we're going to possibly maybe try and go back on the Clackmannanshire Bridge just yeah. to... Both very small. If you come... Uh -huh. The thing is, if you, when you said, oh, there's this bridge and that bridge, I'm thinking they'll be massive. Like, over the Firth of Forth, the Queen's Free Crossing is massive. It, is it like a mile and a half long or something? Just, mile, oh, just over a mile. Over a mile. Long. Massive, massive structures. These ones, quite low down, and you're over it in... 20 uh -huh. seconds, so... Yeah, but the Clack Manninshire Bridge has got a sort of bend on it, so that's a wee bit mm -hmm. longer. Um, yeah. So we'll show you that in the video when we and come it's back a, to it. And it's a scorcher today, so for it's once... lovely, really so, nice day. So everyone put in the diary that for once I'm not going to complain about the weather, so it's yeah, a scorcher. so it's really nice. So <coughs> the Davila Forest, it's got... Well, they say it's got four lochs round the forest. Um, and Anne, is one of them called Baldy Loch? <laughs> Baldy Loch? Baldy. Baldy, Bal Baldy Lochs. Oh God, that's your. What well, sounds are... like? No, it sounds like Baldy though, doesn't no, it? No, your jokes are getting worse. So anyway, there's wait, more. Wait, more Loch. Talking of jokes, we are in Fife. It's the name of the game, and I want to play oh, the no. game with you. You like that one? I wish one? we could have a pause button or a <laughs> fast forward button. Or an, eject, or an ejector uh, seat. <laughs> Get out! Right. Um, so Moor Loch, you can do Moor Loch, and it takes you around sort of Tilly Allen Woods. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if we're going to encompass that today. Well, we're going to try. We're going to try and encompass as much as we can, because generally, when you come to a place like this, especially Forestry Commission, you'll find marked routes in colours. So you'll have like greens, normally like a little sensible one. Then you'll have like yellow, and then reds, normally a mega long one for able-bodied people who, ca who can't get enough. So mm -hmm. what I try to do is I try to string them together to make the longest route, so you don't miss yeah. out. We're going to try. We've been, we've tried to get here early this morning just because of dog walkers and people and things like that. So we like to get and out people with, on bikes as well. Yes, yeah, so we like around. to try and get out as early before that all happens um, because I think it is popular with dog walkers. Mm -hmm. um, there's a dam here as well that we're mm -hmm. going to try and have a look at. We'll try and encompass a castle that's. Um, you know, we might around. be able to see it, but I think that may be too far to yeah, the east. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll but there's, see. there's also um, Bordy Loch and Keir. See? Bordy Lochs? Bordy Loch. Bordy Loch. That's <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> so there's Bordy Loch and Keir Dam as well. Uh -huh. um, but we'll put all the sort of where everything is. Well, I'll slap the names on, so don't yeah, worry about put that. put the names on. But So we're going to get around the Villa Forest. We've brought a picnic today, so we're in no rush today, so we'll try and get as much squeezed in. There's mm -hmm. a four-mile walk, a five-mile walk, an eight-mile walk. You choose whatever one that you want to do, um, but we're just going to get out and about yeah. just for the sake of enjoying it. And today. you see there's a, there's a car over there with a horse box on the back. So there's a wild horse. So there's probably the somebody here trotting around with a horse. Yeah. So that's nice. I, I quite like that. I don't mm -hmm. know how they've got under there. No, you don't need to go there's under like a, that. There's like a thing where they're going to knock, knock the rider off. No, that's you don't need to go under that, right. I wouldn't imagine. So, but anyway, so we should we go off and let's make a move. Trail check about. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not going to slap a map in or anything like that, but um, we'll we'll show you what what things are as we go around. Yeah. But it's all about just let's hope we find some nice things because mm -hmm. it is a beautiful day. So it is. You know, we're told that we're going to get the heat wave. So the, one yeah, of the last yeah. videos we said about the beast from the east. So let's. Let's have the heat from the the heat from the beat or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's hit the trail. Okay, right. bye. Bye bye.
That's an interesting plant. Sometimes, I know as a kid we used to call this soldier's buttons because eventually, obviously, once the flower and you get the, uh, the little seeds there, um, they look like old-fashioned soldier's buttons from, you know, way back. Um, and they stick to your clothing, so watch. So if I take some of this, if you can hear me over that traffic there, if I take some of this, watch, sticks. Now, you'll find a lot of plants who have sticky things um, sticky seeds, it's a me method of propagation really, so what's happening is it sticks to animals fur and it distributes the seeds, so it's quite a clever mechanism and also um, these little spikes can be irritating to animals which want to eat it anyway, so amazing stuff though um, it, it grows everywhere here look at it all, there's masses of it, it you've got to be careful because it normally grows right next to these things which are horrible, stinging nettles they're a right pain in the backside you can see the little the little hairs on it, I'll zoom in, and those little white hairs, if I can focus, there you go, see the little white hairs, touch them and they go right in your skin and they're right irritant, so stay away from them. Right, what plant's this? Most Europeans and Americans should know what this is, but it, they're known by various names, um, different berries, but it is blueberry, so they're called huckleberries and all sorts of things, but if I can find a good one, um, you'll recognise it straight away. Let's have a look. Because uh, in, this, in this stage, they don't really look like a blueberry, but once they mature, you, you look at it and you think, ah, yes, it's a blueberry. Um, of course, I can't find a good example now. Um... They're not ripe enough to eat, but there you go. That's starting to turn into a, a blueberry. Um, I can't find one. I, I found a good example before, but it seems to have disappeared. Okay, right. Finally, on this plant, on with this bush or shrub, I found a good example. So there you go, blueberry. So obviously you can't eat these, but you need to wash them first if you don't know where they've been grown. But look, there you go. Blueberries, wild blueberries. It doesn't get any better than that. So look how close that is to the path as well. So you don't have to go far off the path to find these things. And there's a good example of cuckoo spit, which no, nobody actually nobody actually got on the last video. Um, look at this one. This header is absolutely full of the stuff. <laughs> ah. You can see all the cuckoo spit there in white. Uh, and look, what, look what's been spotted down here. I think that's a mold fungus. But look at the look at the colour of that. Weird stuff. Maybe a lichen actually. I don't recognise it, so I will have to look that up. It... Yeah, it's mold fungus. You see. Now obviously, if you're going to do that, what I've just done there, you must wash your hands, okay? But uh, that, that looks like a fungus to me.
what's this here? Look, normal picnic benches. I'll ask your opinion on this. What would you have normally find at a picnic bench? Seats on which sides? Both sides. Both sides. So this is an antisocial picnic area. So you can sit on your own, not talking to anyone. Why would you do that? Do you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of a school desk. Dinners. School dinners, aye? So there must be a school dinner lady somewhere in these woods, a bit like a school dinner lady version of a Bigfoot. found here, I found something secret. I'm presuming it's a geocache, but it's hidden here, right off the trail. Or is it someone's fat lunch? Ah, this looks like a geocache to me. Aha, go on, I'll let you get into there. Probably find a human finger or something. Aye, ah, dead body part. Oh. Yep, geocache. So geocache has a, a note in so you can leave your notes who've come. Oops. And people generally leave an item. Mini bubbles. Mini bubbles. So there's some bubbles. And then you've got a little hovercraft and a pen. So what we should do is we'll leave a we'll, need to leave some. All right, we'll we'll leave a note in here to say a trail trek's been here, but it's it's well hidden, so I will hide it again. Um, but I'm not gonna, it's near that castle remains. Okay, here's a little bit of history here, preachers on the moor. Um, and it's mentioned about the nearby pulpit stone may have been used as a lectern for these open air sermons. So here we are, who's in the pulpit stone, philosophizing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and another thing, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs>
conversations. Right, we're back. And the reason we look quite refreshed and not bothered is because we've just had a bit of a sit down. So I don't I don't yeah. people think we've come back and it was easy. At least seven and a bit miles. Just under four hours. Yeah, just under four hours. We didn't sit down and have a rest anywhere because yeah. really, that's the unfortunate thing with this place. There really isn't anywhere to sit other than the car park where you start. Mm -hmm. It's very wild, which is nice. But each each body of water, there's not really anywhere to congregate and sit. and There's none of that. Yeah, I mean, it was nice on the track because there was a lot of different terrain. There is also yeah. a lot of... Um, wildlife that you see yeah um, loads of insects you get serenaded on each side by these crickets on the way yeah um and the, it's just a lovely really nice walk a lot of different things to see and the diversity and of trees was excellent so it's a proper forest it's not just like a plantation where it's all one type of tree mm -hmm. i was impressed with that very impressed yeah didn't see many people there was a few dog walkers and one dog came past with a pair of sunglasses on yeah so we had a made a comment and i think the dog was maybe blind or sensitive something to like that ah, something like that sensitive so but i've never come across that i was trying to explain that but it had Aye. these sort of goggle things Aye. on it looked like it was going to go skiing which was quite funny but Aye. um it was doing its own thing right so we're going to keep this brief because yeah, because the car is heating up and it's very it's really very really warm today Aye. it's excellent Extremely can't complain warm. um all i will say and it did kind of warn us about this before we did this walk is mm -hmm. now the car park is absolutely full it is yeah and it is dog central here so that is good if you've got dogs bad um, if you haven't well no they're all they've all been very well behaved all the way it's nice seeing all the different breeds and you're saying that but the, how many how many dogs crap bags did we see yeah we did see quite a lot just left take um, your rubbish home it's dead simple and then everyone can enjoy it which is a bit disappointing but i definitely recommend getting yourself here yeah. um early lots of different lot of off routes and things Loads like that of tracks. as well wasn't there well thanks to Here's the thing, if you're a fan of the TV show Lost, you'll love this place because the signs are rubbish, next to useless. They aren't they, be honest. They're yeah. hopeless. So if you're a fan of getting lost continuously, we you'll love that. We always know where we are, though, even if we do yeah. get lost. We didn't stick you to can the always, track. And you can always use the GPS on your phone as well, so don't worry about things like that. I was just saying, we, do, we don't ever always stick to the track. No, no. We... we go looking around because that's, the, that's how you find interesting things. Mm -hmm. Right, so come on, marks out of 10. I'm going to give this place 8 if you get here early. If you don't... Yeah. Uh, oh, definitely early. Unless you're a dog walker and you want yeah. to mingle with other dog walkers, then definitely get yourself here. Yeah. 8 o'clock um, in the morning. It's not too early. That's fine. And it's quite a distance. It's okay for us to do seven eight miles but some people might not want yeah, that but there, level of... there's other routes you can do less than that so yeah. just to make you aware of that mm -hmm. as well but no it's a lovely route i'm going to give it um seven and a half just mm -hmm. seven and a half only because of some there's little plaques and they're bleached by the sun or the weather yeah so the little plaques that are i would imagine are telling you where to go and what route like, you can't see where you're going right, you the, don't know where you're going they would the have it they I mean, I'm complaining about the the, the 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 different routes and stuff. Signage, I know it it makes a place look less wild, but you need it because if you don't know the area, you're just going to get lost. Yeah. And a, and a little hidden gem. We looked for a place called, and I'll embarrass myself here, but I don't care. Tully Liar Castle or whatever the hell it was called. Tull, Hully, Tully Bully, Tully Allen. Whatever the hell it's called. Fair enough. I don't know what it's called. Um, and we found um, a college of policing where the police must go and learn how to be a copper. Yeah, that was, that that was really nice. Beautiful old building there. And then you've got the modern bit, which yeah. is where the accommodation for them is. And they had like a bit for um, a remembrance bit for poor cops who've been killed on duty. So, yeah, so I think people should support the cops who do that because they do a very difficult job. And we got a video of that as well. Yeah. But we passed Moorloch, Keerloch. The dams were Goldie quite... Goldilock. <laughs> the dams... <laughs> The dams but, were quite disappointing because we didn't... There aren't really any bloody dams, so I don't know what they're talking about. Unless we just went off the wrong route or something. Every time we, we headed towards a thing that was called a dam, my uh -huh. definition of a dam is where a water body is stopped, slowed down and used. Yeah. There wasn't any dams. But it's nice. The water's really nice. We've seen a curling pond. 
Yes. Um, and everything. So there's quite a lot to see and do and walk mm -hmm. and, you know, exercise is great here. There is people camping here as well. Oh, um, yeah, I noticed a few. And fishermen. And fishing and uh, everything. So it's 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 got about everything here. Brilliant. Um, so as I say, not too far. If you're south to north, it's only probably literally about 15 miles 16 miles from Edinburgh yeah coming down it's just near Fife and Dollar it's not far from Dollar um Concarden area right we're gonna so, have to we're gonna have to wrap this up because I'm, I'm melting yeah, I'm so absolutely it's really, melting here really, it's so really hot warm, so and anyway, I just want to say thank you to Active AI because we were having a rest day after a really long walk and he put a really nice comment on the Gifford the uh, Bolton, Bolton video yeah. there. So thank you very much. That really that really cheered yeah, us up. Yeah, it's always nice, nice to get, you know, and motivating for us to Aye. get nice little comments. We'll take the good with the bad. Um and obviously, you know, it's if there's well, any... the good ones the good ones are heartwarming and the bad ones are funny. That's how I would Right, okay. <laughs> we'll just embrace it as it comes well, along. But anyway, easy. um thanks everybody for continually watching we do Aye. appreciate that and we do listen and read to mm -hmm. all your your comments and your yeah views every and every points. single one gets read whether yeah. we take heed or not is another matter but we do, we do <laughs> no, read them we do we do we take heed and whatever but and we're gonna have to do it yep get out get and out enjoy yourselves you have a shot now and share it yep definitely okay. take care now bye 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 bye